Now to good health. Yesterday's eclipse came with tons of warnings. Do not look directly at the sun, but a lot of people, including, we should note, President Trump, uh, didn't maybe take those warnings as seriously as they should. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain the delayed symptoms of eye damage from the sun. Exactly, Karen. Yesterday's eclipse was special because the area of totality crossed America, something that hasn't happened in 99 years. But partial eclipses aren't super rare, and eye specialists have been warning of the dangers for decades. This editorial from a 1963 medical journal specifically identifies that the most commonly injured people are boys between 9 and 15 years old. For anyone outside of the total eclipse, looking directly at the sun can cause a number of different injuries. Starting at the outermost part of the eye, the cornea is the clear layer we see through. This can be damaged in a similar way that the skin is damaged in a sunburn. In fact, more commonly I see problems in people who are in the ER that have glanced at a welder's arc with a naked eye. About 12 hours after an exposure like that, they have a painful, gritty feeling in their eyes that's often worse in light. The good news, though, is this will resolve on its own within about a day. The much more serious injury we worry about is called solar retinitis. That's damage to the light-sensing surface, the retina, at the back of the eye. Because the retina doesn't have pain sensors, this doesn't hurt, but it will produce anything from a fuzzy spot in the center of vision all the way to permanent total blindness. Now, the loss of vision is not always immediate, but it should be apparent about the first day after the exposure. Now, if you or your child does notice a change in vision, you should talk to your eye doctor. And incidentally, the University of Michigan is starting a long-term registry to track the impact of eclipse-related eye injuries. No pain sensors in that part of the eye, so you've been hurt without it Definitely. hurting, which is fascinating. That's exactly it, and the symptoms can be delayed, so you do have to be aware that this is something to be on the lookout yeah. for. And remember, eclipses do occur over and over again. Yep. So remember this for the future. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Doc.